Joining me on the lines is Mrs. Mary Obenda, mathematician, entrepreneur, and CEO of MV Fashion Accessories. Good evening, uh, Mother Man. Thanks for joining us on Technical Rights. Good evening, blessing. Right. Uh, now, being a woman who is a mathematician and entrepreneur, I know these two are not so easy when it comes to um, our country. So when we talk about women being the most affected when it comes to unemployment situation in the country, with your experience, what accounts for this? Um, thank you so much. And I want to say good evening to your listeners. There's a general perception out there which says women don't have full attention mm. when it comes to being employed. Employer, most employers feel that they will, have, they will have to give them time for maternity leave, for their family duties and other aspects of their lives. So productivity are mostly affected by the activities of women. Mm. As I stated earlier, a, a field like yours is male dominated. So I would like to ask, how has the experience been? What has been some of the challenges and how have you been able to overcome them? My field is, is mostly female dominated, as you say. That. Oh, it's okay. fashion accessory, so mostly we have women. Mm. We have women. I mean, I'm talking about the part well. where you're also a mathematician. Okay, okay. I mean, the math I read in Yes. School. You know, at, on top of, even if you go to math class now, I, I don't know how it is, but you see less women mm. in the class. Why? Because math is seen as, um, so to say, a male course. So if you're a, a woman and you are doing math, normally you are seen as a hard woman or a male mm. amongst male. You are not seen technically as, as a full woman. Right. People think you are too hard. Yes, you I think know. I was even I was even scared of my my math teacher <laughs> when I was in SHS. <laughs> Those are perceptions, you know. Either math is also a course, just like any other course. Mm. If you are taught and you understand, you can do what the men are also doing. It's not mm. so difficult mm. as they have created it, and most people, especially ladies, are afraid of it. Mm. There, well, are, there were ladies in my class who kept up. Mm. You know, though we were few, but. I mean, it's doable. It's not something that is not possible. Mm. Right. When I was talking to Mr. Skofi Yabua, he made mention that when it comes to women unemployment, looking for job as a woman, um, biological structure of women are also taken into consideration. As you mentioned earlier, maternity leave and the others. Yes. Now, how has that affected women when it comes to um, finding jobs? Has it gotten better or is it just getting worse? Ah, it's, I would say it's getting worse because I, I remember I had a friend who was also in business. Mm. I mean, he stopped now. But he used to say that when you pick women, they can all go to maternity leave at the same time. Right. And how do you run your business? So he would rather want to pick few ladies and then a lot of the men just to complement it. Mm. So that is not gone. It's still, people still consider that. Mm. Now, now let's talk about governmental policies that can help uh, curb um, female unemployment in these countries. Uh, you've had the opportunity, being an entrepreneur as well. What are some of the governmental uh, policies that you think can help women get more jobs, especially when uh, we are being um, fairly treated because of our biological structure? For that, I think um, there's less the government can do because the industries are not many. Even mm -hmm. for the male, you don't have much industry to employ people in general, mm -hmm. including women. So I would say that if you are a woman and you're on campus, don't assume or don't accept what people normally say or be believe that um, employment is just a continuation of education. Don't see it that way. Don't just sit there and wait to be employed after school. Once you are in school, you have a lot of hours that you do other things, which is not a, a, academic. If you have to learn a skill, learn it. Mm. If you have to learn a trade, learn it. If you have to go to a do market and sit by a woman who is selling, just be there to learn how to sell. Because that will not make you depend on the government so much. Mm. The government can promise, but it's not, as I speak now, it's not possible because they don't have enough industries to absorb 
many of them graduates coming out every year. Mm. So you don't wait. Just go. Start doing something for yourself. You know, we, we are talking about unemployment. Mm. But come to think about it. It's the only it's, it's only the educated who are saying unemployment. Really? Your mates yeah. Mostly it's it's just educated. Your mates whom you, you let the DSS may be doing something for herself. Mm. She's not waiting for the government. Right. If you go to central market, a lot of the people there are women. But once we go to school, we think we are more important than those people. And that is not an area that a, a, a educated person can be. So mm. we leave those sectors for the uneducated. And we keep on by saying there's no job. We don't have employment in this country. Mm. Right. So I think we have to change their mindset. Okay. But talking oh. about uh, women getting into such trades, now yeah. aren't we limited as women? We are being told as women that there are certain professions that we can't get into. It's only for males. Now, if we are thinking that women should learn skills just um, like braiding, um, beads making, and the others, aren't we limiting them to a field where we think, oh, we are women, you can just do this, not uh, the other ones? No, I don't think so. Because if you want to shop right, it's just a provision shop which has been enlarged, mm. isn't it? Yes. So there's nothing like it's small and it's just been put down for women. Mm. You can start from there. But as an educated person, it can become bigger. Okay. Because you have been schooled. You, have, you can read and write. So there's nothing like this is for women. It depends mm. on how you start and how you're able to grow it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Mrs. Murray. Thank you for joining us on Technocrat this evening. You're welcome. That was Mrs. Marie Obin Dako, mathematician, entrepreneur, and CEO of MV Fashion Accessories. Now, she says that women must not be limited to just things uh, that you can do after school. You can go out there, start something small, learn a skill. You don't have to wait for the government to get you a job. You're listening to Focus 94.3 FM and the show is Technocrat. We are live on Facebook at Focus FM. Can you to join us and let us know what you think about youth unemployment? Females are the, the ones that are not really getting jobs when it comes to uh, comparison between males and females. So tell us what your views are about this. Now, earlier I spoke to Mr. Skofri Abua and he talked about equal opportunities for ladies. Ready, ready. 